Hi, David King here, davidleeking.com, sitting in my car while I'm waiting for my daughter's soccer practice to get over and thought I would make a video. Let's talk about preparing for emerging trends. How in the world does a library prepare for emerging trends? I have seven ideas on that, so let me share those and then we'll see what you guys can add. Number one, um, be a nimble organization as much as possible. That might mean speeding things up sometimes, um, preparing just enough and then putting something out there to, you know, see what sticks, see what works, um, that kind of thing. Number two, similar to number one, um, have a flexible staff. That can mean frontline staff, that can mean more managerial, supervisory, administration level staff. Uh, but you have to be flexible. Sometimes because of emerging trends, technology, um, something in the community even, your plans might have to switch faster than you, you know, pre-planned for in your 10-year strategic planning document that's sitting up on the shelf. Number three, really important, have a line item in your budget for emerging trends, even if you don't know what it is yet. Um, maybe make that line item emerging trends or new technology or um, pilot projects, you know, that kind of thing. Sometimes, um, this has happened in my organization before, the Friends of the Library has funded, uh, well, actually our pilot project version of our makerspace. They bought the equipment for us, which is pretty cool. Um, maybe you can do something like that, but plan monetarily to uh, be prepared for emerging trends also, or you'll know about it but won't be able to do anything about it. Number four, assign staff. Um, this could mean assigning them to try something out, um, to be your, your Twitter person. Assign them to play with something that you guys just bought from your line item in number three. And then share with staff how it works, um, how they think it could work in a library setting. Number five, use some listening tools. So, you know, use Feedly or something else to keep up with blogs or, you know, Twitter or Facebook, however you want to do that. Keep up with blogs that talk about emerging trends, emerging technology tools, um, emerging um, urban renewal type projects. There's some really cool stuff out there right now um, focused on urban renewal and remaking and that kind of thing. Um, read them, share them with your department, with staff in a manager's meeting, and again, explain how you think that might help the library. Number six, attend more than just the annual Li American Library Association conference. It's a great conference. There's tons of vendors there, lots of really good sessions, um, but it's huge and it's easy to get lost in, oh, it's my favorite author talking kind of stuff. Not saying that's bad, but if you want to focus more on emerging trends, uh, Sometimes a smaller conference that's really focused on that will be good. Sometimes a huge conference like South by Southwest or a huge exhibit type thing like CES um, might be more useful for you. you know, or, or something else entirely. Get out of your comfort zone is what I'm saying here. And, and finally, number seven, maybe the most important one, actually go try some of these ideas out. Uh, so you know, if you hear something that your library likes, um, try it out. Do a pilot project. Get, you know, use a small amount of money, buy a few things, set up something in the in a corner of a library, in a study room, um, in an exhibit space as, on a temporary basis. Um, set it up small, see how it works. Make sure you're getting feedback as, you know, as part of that setup. And then expand it if your cu customers or your community thinks that is just the most awesome thing ever. Um, another way to think about, you know, a pilot project that, um, what is it, MVP, minimal viable product, you know, use those ideas too. So set up something really scrappy and fast, throw it out there, um, see if it sticks. That's what a lot of more um, newer startup type companies are doing. They're making something quickly, they're putting it out for their customer base, seeing if it works. And if it does, they're building upon that. Why can't libraries do that? It's a cool idea. So those are my ideas. I would love to hear what your ideas are. So share them um, in the comment box below, wherever you're seeing this, on my blog and YouTube. Um, tweet something out, Facebook, 
etc. Um, I'm even experimenting with Snapchat, so you can find me there. Most places, I'm David Lee King. Um, catch you later.